Hey everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my supporters. And of course, uh, the fallout from the introduction of the uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E is tremendous articles, videos, TV programs and interviews. And of course, it begs the uh, comparison between the uh, Tesla Model Y, the upcoming Tesla Model Y, and the upcoming uh, Ford Mustang Mach-E. I'm reluctant to call it Ford Mustang, it isn't, but that's what they call it, we'll respect that. So we'll go through the major uh, comparisons and I will tell you what I think about it. So let's start first of all with the price. If you go to the Tesla website, uh, you will not see the basic Model Y. I mean, Elon Musk talked about, talked about the 39,000 uh, basic model, for uh, 220 miles. That ain't gonna happen. They said it will happen, but we'll see what happens. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. It's like the basic Tesla Model 3. It's not there. You really have to beg for it. Anyway, so the basic uh, Model Y will cost uh, 39,000 for, let's say 220 miles, as opposed to the Mustang for $43,893 for 210 miles. So uh, obviously you would say the Model Y is cheaper, but remember that next year when these two cars are coming, barring a changing in laws, which I don't think it's gonna happen, Tesla will have zero in federal tax incentive and uh, the uh, Mustang will have the full 7,500. So huge advantage to um, a Mustang, to Ford, uh, in the, no matter which model you're gonna buy either spec or either trim or either battery size it doesn't matter they are all eligible for $7,500 and the Tesla is eligible for zero so I don't think neither of these basic models will be produced and or sold but either way still a huge advantage to a, a Ford however the top price for both of them is uh, in the 60s very very low 60s for both of them no matter what is the spec or the uh, range. Speaking of range, uh, Mustang will go from 210 uh, miles to um, 300 miles. And the uh, in reality, the, the, the Model Y will be 280 to 300. So I would say uh, that the Mustang have more options, but the uh, uh, Model Y may keep it simple. The rear wheel drive 300 miles, the all, the all wheel drive 200 miles as well as the performance. Uh, battery size 75 kilowatt to 98.8 kilowatt for the uh, Mustang. And I think they don't talk a, 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 a lot about it, but the Tesla uh, Model Y, it uh, looks like a 75 kilowatt, but it's such an efficient car, aerodynamic and everything, that it does produce more range than uh, any counterpart they have in all the segments in all the manufacturers, including Ford, so that's great. A uh, date of release is gonna be next year. The early Mustangs will be late next year, and it looks like Malway will beat them to the punch for that one. They're gonna be early spring or maybe mid spring. Uh, so uh, Tesla will come out before, and that's great. Uh, uh, zero to 60, zero to 100 kilometers, uh, looks like three and a half seconds to six seconds for um, the uh, Mustang and three and a half seconds to uh, five and a half seconds for the uh, Model Y. But the Model Y will uh, does have a, a software update and their range and performance does improve over time like it did in my Tesla Model 3 that I'm driving now. Uh, speaking of a, a software update, Tesla does it regularly since inception uh, and model and uh, the Mustangs uh, Ford said that they will do that as well. We'll see, uh, I'll see about that. Seating, uh, they're both uh, uh, compact uh, SUVs, the small SUVs, crossovers. Uh, the Mustang will have only five uh, seats and the uh, Model Y will have five plus two, I call it, five seats plus two you can add, but, but probably it's gonna be small seats like just like in the Model X. And so uh, the Model Y will have more seats than, than the, um, uh, the uh, Mustang. Uh, cargo, a little advantage for uh, the Model Y, 66 cubic feet with the seats down. 
as opposed to 64.4 for the Mustang. They both have a little front of about five cubic feet for both of them. So that's pretty much uh, the same. Now here is Tesla biggest advantage and that is this charging speed. Talking about the 145 in level two and the, uh, of course, the 250 in the level three. Even with the level two, a uh, Tesla Model Y will get 160 miles in 15 minutes. I can attest to that with a Model 3. The charging speed is a game changer for long range, um, uh, long range uh, driving, as opposed to the Mustang, which they said 47 miles in 10 minutes. So let's call it 50, it's 120 minutes, it's still far away from what the Model Y will give you. And that is a huge advantage. Here is an even bigger advantage for Tesla, and that's their awesome supercharging network with all the planning and the charging times and the navigation. It's just Tesla kills everybody in that department. Uh, Mustang will, uh, you know, will rely on EVgo and ChargePoint and um, Electrify America and all that. You know, how, how, as it is, it's not so consistent and it's not so reliable like the uh, Tesla model. Uh, all the Tesla superchargers, they are just amazing. So that's to me as a consumer, if I'm to buy to decide, that is a deal breaker for me because I do like to do a lot of long range driving. If long range driving is not something that you do often, then it's different decision. Uh, in terms of the uh, screen, very much. You know, the best flattery is when somebody imitates what you do and the flat screen of the Mustang just looks like, just like a Tesla Model S actually. It's a 15.5 inches as opposed to a 15 inch, just like in the Model 3 for the uh, uh, Model Y. So it's kind of the same. Uh, a different shape, but it's kind of the same size. Uh, autopilot, uh, of course, Tesla is years, centuries ahead of everybody else with their autopilot, navigate on autopilot, and later on with, of course, the uh, full self-driving, the summon, the smart summon, and all that stuff. There's nothing like Tesla. Uh, Mustang will have the co-pilot, they call it. Um, and, uh, it will have, you know, let's say keep a uh, lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control, but no changing lanes, no automatic changing lanes like they have uh, in uh, autopilot. So these are to me the main components. Style, obviously, you know, the Mustang looks beautiful. The Model Y to me looks gorgeous and amazing. They are very similar in many ways. And yet I would say price and incentive advantage Mustang uh, technology, uh, autonomy, autopilot, and of course charging, huge advantage, huge, huge advantage to um, a Tesla. And that's nothing to sneeze on, that is a big deal. Well, it's your choice. Uh, you know, if I had to buy one, I would go for the Tesla just because of the charging speeds and the uh, supercharging and the technology. So that's my preference, that's my choice, and that's what I do. But believe me, you change the world one electric car at a time, I'm happy. Thank you guys for watching. Give me your comments, give me a thumbs up. See you tomorrow with another video.